Hi guys, welcome to our video 3.2, Naming Compounds, where we're going to start seeing how or why a lot of compounds are named the things that they are. So the first type of compounds we're going to talk about or is where we have a metal combined with a non-metal. Now when a metal and a non-metal combine, the ending of the name is going to be "-ide", so it's almost always going to end in "-ide". The metal keeps its name, so whatever the metal element's name is, it's just going to stay exactly the same. And the non-metal's ending is going to change to "-ide". So for example, NaCl, sodium chloride, right? So chlorine turns to chloride. Okay? CS, oops, I made a little mistake here. This should be C. S2, right? Cesium oxide. CS is cesium, the oxygen changes to oxide. CuO, copper oxide. We're going to learn uh, this actually, we're going to learn in class in a couple days exactly what this means. Cu2O, copper oxide. And same thing, we can see the only difference here is the Roman numeral that we're going to talk about in class. Okay, polyatomic ions. If you look on table E of your reference table, you see these selected polyatomic ions. And these polyatomic ions act and react as a unit. The negative ones, and most of these on here are negative, right? Negative, 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 behave like nonmetals. And the positive ones are going to behave like metals. Important thing to remember for this point in time is that polyatomic ions keep their name in compounds, so we don't change them at all. So we're not we wouldn't change nitrate to nitride. It's nitrate, period. Okay. Finally, when we have metals combined, I'm sorry, when we have nonmetals combined with other nonmetals, we use what's called prefixes. And the prefixes are going to tell us how many of each are in the compound. All right, and these we just have to memorize, unfortunately. All right, one is mono, two is di, three is tri, four is tetra, five is penta, six is hexa, seven is hepta, eight is octa, nine is nana, or some people say nona, ten is deca. Now, when we put them in order, the less electronegative element comes first and the more electronegative element comes last. For example, we have CO, okay? Oxygen's more electronegative, so it's last. Now, we don't say generally monocarbon, right? With the first one, we can get away with just saying carbon, but for the second one, we have to say monoxide, right? Monoxide, and it just gets kind of shortened to monoxide. So CO is carbon monoxide. CO2, carbon dioxide. All right, so here now we have two nitrogens and one oxygen. So we have to say di-nitrogen for the two nitrogens, monoxide for one oxygen. Di-chlorine, octo-oxide or octoxide. All right, we have to use the prefixes for all of them. All right, question time. Using the rules, that you just wrote down in your notes and hopefully paid attention to, name these compounds. Okay, so. All right, that brings us to the end of 3.2 naming compounds, and I will see you guys at school.